Hi, um, so welcome to our last day of our Granada exhibition. We're really sad it's coming to an end, but it's been a really, really popular exhibition. Um, we've seen loads of people coming to visit it and it's been really lovely walking through the space and just listening to people talking and reminiscing. People often grab hold of you and say, oh, I remember seeing this person, I remember doing this, and I met, met my husband here and all that sort of stuff. So it's been really brilliant um, and we'll be really sad to see it go. It's been an amazing two months putting on this Granada exhibition at Manson Museum. Thank you very much to all those people that have helped, particularly Jodie Henshaw at the museum, who's been fabulous. And it's kind of sad, it's bittersweet to take it down, but it's had so many people visit it, it's brought back so many great memories, and also it's sort of uh, brought it into the forefront of people's minds who weren't around when the Granada uh, was doing its thing. It's been 50 years since it closed, but the Granada spirit is very much alive and well. Um, so it's been fabulous to work with the people that used to work at the Granada, those that are still around have been really, really helpful. So thank you to all of them, particularly to Fred Shelton and to Malcolm Appleby, who were projectionists at the theatre. Just, just their wealth of knowledge has been amazing and uh, their help has been, you know, we, we wouldn't have been able to do it without them and the rest of the team. Thank you to them. But goodness gracious, it's been, it's been amazing. And we've had bits from the actual Granada because there's not a lot that's left. So for example, this big bass drum, this used to be in the organ. We managed to get hold of the, uh, an original part of the organ. The organ is now at uh, the Scarborough Fair collection and um, was restored by Kevin Grunnell and Penniston Cinema Organ Trust. But uh, a few items were, were still in storage that weren't used in the refurbishment. Um, here we have the original bass drum and then we go along to the beta mechanism. The larger beta is for the single beats, and that is for the, uh, the, the two beaters are for the uh, drum roll. And at the bottom here, we have one of the uh, pipes that uh, came out of the organ. Uh, one set of pipes couldn't be used because some of them were damaged. Um, and this was one of the, one of the sets of the pipes. Alan Wilson, the, the last organist, um, he's been basically my right hand man and he's helped me put this all together and he managed to secure this for us and all of the information about the, the organ has come from the fabulous Astoria National Theatre Organ Heritage Centre, which is based up in uh, Yorkshire Barnsley. They've been really helpful too. Um, it's just difficult to, to say thank you to everybody because there's so many people that have got involved, but um, Alan's been great and really helped out. And obviously we've got um, theatre memorabilia and, and old programmes and old tickets from the shows that used to be on at the Granada. So, it, you know, it's, it's been fab. And also the amazing um, Granada model, um, which was put together by Lee Robinson, who is a genius as far as I'm concerned. Uh, what a fabulous model that is. And if you want to find out more about Lee, you can find him on sort of uh, social media. My favourite bit really has got to be the projector. Uh, it's been so lovely having this here and listening to um, older people trying to explain to children what it is. There's been quite a lot of people think it's a time machine, which is quite good. Um, but it's also been great seeing the old guys that used to actually work the machine um, coming in and opening the doors and lovingly looking inside and things. That's been a really special. Um, really, really special part of it. So we'll be, we'll be sad to see it go when it goes back to its home. It's been really interesting. Met a few very old friends from 50 years ago and uh, a lot of reminiscing going off. And it's nice to see people still remember what we did at Granada and what a good experience it was when they attended it. Uh, particularly some of the kids that used to uh, go there and uh, participate in the Saturday morning uh, matinees and uh, they're, not, they're not kids anymore, you know, they're most of them in their 60s and 70s, but uh, yes, yeah, a really nice experience and I've thoroughly enjoyed it and I hope the people who've uh, seen the exhibition have thoroughly enjoyed it as well. My favourite bit um, is this, which is um, a tea urn which was given to this fellow here, who is Bertie Oaksford, the, the, the man who came up with the idea for the Granada. He was a theatre entrepreneur. 
um, in the early 1900s, and he had um, other cinemas in the area before the Granada opened, and one of those was the Hippodrome in Mansell, which later became the Century. And um, some of his staff teamed together because he was such a great boss, and they bought him this amazing tea urn, which looks like a trophy, and it's got um, it's an engraving on the front. And um, Bertie Oaksford's family um, still around in the local area, and, and they lent this to us. And um, it's just great that um, they were able to take part because really this is the man that made it all happen and his family, you know, got on board and helped us with this exhibition as well. So this is my favourite piece. It's the tea urn that started it all off. <laughs> 